some rust repair on this 1950 Chevy truck and uh, I've decided I'm gonna try to get this old 216 running. Now my understanding is this truck was parked sometime in the 1970s and has not run since. The engine does turn over. I have not done anything to it yet other than I removed the spark plugs and uh, put some oil down the cylinders a couple months ago. And uh, in the interest of wasting as much time and money as possible, I bought a bunch of new parts. So uh, I have really bad luck with uh, getting engines running. Usually they uh, end up being junk. So I'm gonna start by uh, removing this carburetor and taking it all apart and getting it cleaned up. And then we'll uh, go from there, I guess. All right, carburetor is all taken apart. Didn't find any signs of catastrophic failure. Other than the usual, accelerator pump is shot and uh, needs a good cleaning. Only real area of concern is there is uh, some signs that uh, moisture got in here. But uh, the spark plugs all uh, looked clean on it still, so uh, that's just condensation or sitting for 40 years or what, but uh, we'll get that all cleaned up and uh, let that soak for a few days, I guess. While well, I'm waiting for the carburetor to uh, clean itself, um, I went ahead and cleaned all the uh, battery cables and grounds and all those connections. And I've got the spark plugs out. So now we're going to test to see if the starter works. Okay, well I replaced the cap and rotor, new plugs and wires. I uh, kept the points. I was getting spark, they're in pretty bad shape, but uh, we'll see what happens. I got this thing hot wired gonna save on changing the fuel pump until I know it runs. Got the carburetor cleaned up and uh, there's probably a bunch of other stuff uh, I need to do to this before I start it but uh, I'm getting tired of pretending to be a mechanic. I don't like doing this kind of work and I'm not very good at it so I uh, just dumped a whole uh, pile of gas into the carburetor and uh, we'll uh, hit the key here and uh, see what happens. <laughs> I'll change out the fuel pump and change the oil 
and uh, I was trying to figure out why this thing was so quiet with no muffler on it when I first started it. And uh, you can see that there was a substantial mouse nest in there. So looks like we got uh, most of that blown out, hopefully. It's about minus 31 degrees Celsius. The roads are glare ice. I've got no brakes. The zipper on my jacket is broken. So let's take this 1950 Chevy out for a short drive so I can get this video finished up. And when I say short drive, I mean real short. Our tires and tubes are doing fine, but the air is starting to show through our trusty Goodyear Sure Grip. Do you like old tires? Yes.
a tree line for over 40 years. We got this old Chevy running and driving. So I hope you enjoyed that short little test drive. I would like to go further, but it is really cold out. I still can't feel my fingers and we don't want to push it anymore. Uh, the truck still needs some more work.